happening guys, Coach Zach here again, back to you with another consistent confidence classroom video for Pro Hybrid AAA Hockey. Now many of you guys were on last night during our Facebook Live with this information. We had a few technical difficulties, so I wanted to make it in a YouTube video for you guys. For some of you that don't have uh, Facebook and others that maybe had some difficulties hopping on last night. So let's get right after it here guys. As you can see, the title of this video is the three principles of pro hybrid AAA hockey. Now a principle is something that's timeless. It doesn't change. It's not like a strategy where maybe we use a certain strategy against one team and another strategy against a different team. This is a principle, it's timeless. So a principle is like gravity. It doesn't change, that's a principle. So these are the three principles of our program. The three things that are really at the foundation of our program. So let's uh, start right off with the first one here, guys. This one is gonna be all about our job. So many of you guys took notes last night. If you didn't take notes, you wanna take notes again, I'm gonna be turning my page on uh, the landscape view because I have my big whiteboard here in the office. So accountability is the first principle of pro hybrid AAA hockey. Like we mentioned, accountability is all about my job. It's knowing my job, doing my job, and being responsible for the outcome. Think about accountability like par. If you guys are golfers or your parents are, if you're shooting par, you're doing your job. You're not gonna win championships by getting pars. We need to get birdies and eagles. So accountability is just the entry level of success. That's how we start being successful as we know our job, we do our job, and we're responsible for the outcome. So I'm gonna write that stuff down here. So number one, what is it? You guys say it out loud. Know my job. And if you don't know your job, that's what the coach's job is to do, is to get you to know your job. So ask questions. You have to advocate for yourself if you do not know your job, if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing in a drill, if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing in a dry land, if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing on a certain play or when you get on the ice, ask questions. Raise your hand up and ask questions. So know my job. What's next? Do my job. That's all about executing. Executing with energy, taking action and executing. Do it or don't do it. But ultimately, we need to be responsible. All right, for the outcome. So whatever happens, we need to be responsible for it. We need to take ownership. That's another word for accountability is ownership, really owning our actions and receiving the compliments or the success or the, the positive things. Or what's up next is embracing the challenges that come along with maybe not getting the outcome we're looking for, or maybe I, I fail and I don't do my job, because that's gonna happen. That's what accountability is. It's understanding my job, doing it, and then being responsible for the outcome. So that's the first one. Up next is going to be, so I'm just gonna make a little dotted line here for you guys. Up next is going to be grit. Grit has to do with three things. The three things that grit is all about is number one, embracing the challenge. Embrace the challenge, drive through adversity, and finally keep moving forward. So let's break those things down. So like we said, accountability is being responsible for the outcome. Now what happens when we're faced with a challenge or maybe things don't go the way we intended them to go? We need to have grit. So that's why grit goes with accountability. So grit, like we said, is embracing. I love this word, guys. Let's see how many times we can use, excuse me, that word today. Embrace the challenge. Number two, drive. Aren't these awesome words? These are verbs, guys, action words. So drive through adversity. And then finally, keep moving forward. Last night, yeah, I said keep moving your feet. 
we talk about that quite a bit. But grit is all about embracing the challenge. Like I said, I absolutely love that word. Embrace means to hug, to absolutely love the challenge. Embrace it. Don't just accept it. Embrace the challenge. Love the challenge. Hug the challenge. Okay? Up next, drive through adversity. Uh, last night I used the example of the Kool-Aid man. Think about the Kool-Aid man. He's way too big to fit in the front door, so what does he do? Boom! He goes right through the wall. Now he makes a grand entrance. He has a little adversity. He's too wide to front, fit, figure out uh, how to get in that front door. So what does he do? Boom! Right through the wall. He drives through adversity. And finally, keep moving forward. We talk oftentimes about how physical, environmental scenarios can set, set us back. There's physical setbacks, okay? A lot of challenges happen to us physically. But what we can do is when we get set back physically, we can advance mentally. We can advance socially, emotionally, intellectually. We can keep moving forward with our mindset to figure out how to overcome these challenges and then move forward physically once we get uh, wiser, once we gain experience, once we gain better judgment. Our mindset moves forward and then eventually our physical bodies and our skills will move forward. Okay, last principle of pro hybrid AAA hockey, I'm going to keep this super tight over here so we don't run out of room, is going to be passion. Man, I love this word. And if I had to pick one word uh, that other people would describe me uh, as, it would be passionate, living with passion. Passion, again, we break all these principles down into three things. It's really easy to digest when you break things down into threes. So passion is all about a strong, positive energy. Up next, passion is all about loving what I do. And finally, who remembers for the people that watch the Facebook Live? Finally, can you remember what the third one is? I sure do because I've written this down and talked about it hundreds of times. It's all about the act itself is the reward. And we're going to talk about what that means. The act is the reward. So that's what passion is. It's strong, positive energy. It's loving what I do, and it's the act is the reward. So strong, positive energy. It doesn't always mean, you know, saying, it's all right, it's all right, things will be better. But what strong, positive energy is, is going to be identifying the truth, identifying what we would like to have happen, identifying the direction, the vision, the mission, what is supposed to be happening in my mind right now, and then I'm using my energy, a lot of times it's my voice or my body language, it's using that energy to inspire and ignite the people around me to do the things that I see benefiting all of us as a program. That's exactly what strong positive energy is. It's contagious. It ignites and inspires other people. So think about what kind of energy am I bringing to a situation? Am I bringing a strong positive energy? Am I bringing no energy? Am I bringing negative energy? All that energy, you can feel it. And the more oftentimes we create the habit of bringing strong positive energy to a situation, we're going to ignite and inspire other people with the same thing. It's absolutely critical. Second thing, loving what I do. A lot of times, we're going to have to get through things that maybe initially we're like, oh, you know what, I need to go to school. But now, we would love to go to school. Isn't that crazy, guys? So oftentimes, oh, I don't want to go to school. Now, I guarantee you, every kid sitting at home right now after a week would be like, man, would I love to go to school. Well, why not embrace it? Let's love what we're doing right now. So then we're going to make the most out of it. And eventually, we'll be able to have that influence to do the things that we naturally love. But if we're doing it, it's happening right now, let's love it, let's embrace it, and let's make the most out of it. So get in the habit of loving what you do. Whether it's a simple um, conversation with a friend, whether it's getting together with a group of people on Zoom, whatever it is, instead of just sort of like going through the motions, let's create the habit. We're gonna be talking a lot about habits. Let's create the habit about loving what we're doing. 
and then it's going to help other people do the same thing. Finally, the act is the reward. What uh, word is act a part of? So if I look at A-C-T, what's another word that's a little longer than act? Think about this. What's another word that's a little longer than act? Action. Action is a little longer than act. And act is a root of action. So action. Let the actions, let's, let's let the behaviors be the rewards and the results are going to come. So oftentimes we're, love, we're in love with the results. The result might be money. It might be playing time. It might be a new car. It might be um, the praise we get from other people when we do things uh, effectively. It's easy to love the results, but it can be a challenge to love the action. Let's fall in love with the process and the results are going to come more consistently. That's the message that comes with passion. So strong positive energy, loving what I do, and the act itself is the reward. So there you have it guys, the three principles of pro hybrid AAA hockey. We got accountability is all about your job. Know my job, do my job, be responsible for the outcome. Grit is all about driving through adversity, hugging the challenges, and keep moving forward. Like we said, moving forward most often is mentally first, then physically. And finally, passion. Living with passion is a strong positive energy. It's loving what I do. And finally, it is the act itself is the reward. Fall in love with the process and the results are going to come. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. Feel free to pass it along to anyone, even if they're outside our program, that would benefit from this stuff, and we'll see you guys very soon. Have a great day.